On the eve of the feast of St. Nicholas, I take this opportunity to warmly greet and gratefully thank all those who, especially today, have witnessed their devotion to St. Nicholas, but also expressed in very tangible, very visible way, despite the conditions of weather, their wholehearted support and steadfast resolve for the rebuilding of the Church of St. Nicholas in this very hallowed ground. Tonight, millions of Orthodox Christians and non-Orthodox Christians all over the world will gather in the churches of St. Nicholas. And they are spread all over the world. They will gather for Vesper service and tomorrow for the liturgy. We gathered but without a church. We are the only case when we have a celebration of the Vespers of St. Nicholas without having a church. We are just in an open space, but we are fully decided that this is going not to continue that way. We have to be as soon as possible in a position together with the glorious basilicas of St. Nicholas and the glorious cathedrals of St. Nicholas and the glorious Byzantine church of St. Nicholas and even the small chapels of St. Nicholas. We are going to be in a position to add here a church when it was a church for 80 years plus. So then we will be able, together with the rest of the 300 million Orthodox people to celebrate the memory of the great saint in a proper church. Almost 10 years ago, our city and nation suffered a terrorist attack of unparalleled proportions. In addition to the tragic and horrific loss of almost 3,000 people, the impossible to imagine catastrophe of the Twin Towers had a result, as we know, on our only existing religious monument in this area, St. Nicholas, when one of the two towers fall on St. Nicholas and render it into a mass of just thickness of one foot and then push it down to the underground. This happened nine years ago in a church which opened in 1916, a church who served three generations, a church in which marriages, baptisms, memorial services, festivities took place, educational opportunities took place. This church just disappeared in a moment and so today we are still in a condition of not having this availability and depriving not only the local community but also plenty of people of the existence of a church. The Greek Orthodox Archdiocese of America and the parish of St. Nicholas remain firmly committed to the rebuilding of the church at ground zero, honoring the long-standing agreement with LMDC and Port Authority. On this most solemn occasion, we once again affirm our commitment to rebuild here in this sacred place, the Church of St. Nicholas, which will have a function much wider than before. It will not be limited to be the church of a parish. It will be a church open to the larger community here. The plenty of people who belong to the very busy section of the city, this is perhaps one of the most busy places in the world. And the people working here in these huge buildings need some time to take some rest from what they are doing 
enter into a place of serenity and have a quiet time for rebuilding themselves spiritually and psychologically. So this church will serve this purpose. This church will be a witness of the power of love to rebuild where hatred and evil demolished. It will be a witness to hope, to progress, to peace, to reconciliation among the people. It won't be simply a church for a community. It will be a much larger serving edifice and holy place. This is why the need for a building is urgent and immediate. Now, we trust that the Almighty God will help us through the intercessions of St. Nicholas. St. Nicholas is known as the miracle worker saint. He saved thousands of sheep from a shipwreck. He saved thousands, millions of people during wars and difficult circumstances. His power is so big that even nations made St. Nicholas their patron saint. It's a miracle worker. And we are sure that with his intercessions by the Lord, the Church of St. Nicholas will be rebuilt. What we have today is the very will, the very long work with the Port Authority that will now come to the fruition finally. We have just a few items that some young people are holding there, an icon, some pieces from a candelabrum, some book, half burned, miraculously saved. This is today. Tomorrow is going to be a church. And that's the difference.